Okay, so my Zoom R16 wouldn't switch on today and it looks like this is busted and it still won't power on whether I move it or not. So I'm going to have to take it apart and see what's going on. Um, obviously it looks like these are going to come off and they just pull off, so that's good. Faders will have to come off. And then it looks like there's a whole load of screws on the back here and they're different sizes and different colours, which is just a bit annoying when manufacturers do that. So... I'm going to have the fun of taking this all apart and seeing if I can work out whether I can power it up and maybe there's a fix. And then there's the ubiquitous nut under there. Always fun. Okay, so it looks like all the screws have to come out. They all seem to be the same size. Apart from the ones here at the back, the bottom row has to come out and they're fatter. But I keep them to one side. And then it looks like the back comes off. And I want to get to this bit here, which is the power socket which seems to have busted. Oh, there's a little lead there. Okay, that's good. So that must be the battery lead. Let's take that off there like so. Yeah, that's for the battery. So at the very least it might be able to use battery. Oh, there's a nice little DSP in here. So what I've got to do is to trace what's wrong with this little uh, on-off switch, put some power in, uh, maybe bypass it. So it looks like there's more screws that have to come off here if I want to take this little board screws there 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 a whole load of them little arrows pointing at them and they get another size but i want to get to that bit so maybe now that it's all connected in one large thing there so i have to look up this as a part number for that for starters or even just bypass it and put a wire between them and it's always on all the time then you just unplug it it's one method i suppose let's have a look at this okay i took a lot of screws out little ones they're just here so they're different size i think and this is pretty mucky here so i'm going to give this a quick clean with some isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol as ever i don't know what these are these fell out from somewhere whether they're spacers or what i'll have to look around see if i can find anything that looks like it and everything else seems to be pretty standard um let's power it on and see if we get anything out of it so at the moment the problem is the power switch here is busted put it into view so you can see what we're talking about there and it should be that if we flick that across let me hold that for you a second if we flick that across it should work i think i don't have a spare power switch and i cannot find anything there yeah. no card that's true okay that's working now so after a clean up and that it seems to be working. I think I'll leave it like that. I'll leave it on all the time and I'll either flick it off at the main switch um, or this thing keeps it on anyway. Um, I've got to put it back and try and work out where those little pieces go. I'm going to look back at my video quick to see if I can see them. Okay, I still haven't worked out where they go yet, but you see these bits here, they need to go in first from this side. One there and one there. And there's only one way you can put them in. I'm going to now offer this up so i've offered those up they fitted in nicely there ready to take the smaller screws which i put there now i'm desperately trying to look around and find out where those little gray bits would go i know the black screws went there i'm gonna look back at my video again because i don't remember seeing them on this side of the board which would mean they got to be on the other side of the board or in here somewhere um let me look back okay i think i found where they go i think they go in here yeah because they seem to fit nicely on that oh we said dropping it and then that sort of pushes that down so when the screw comes down it'll hold it in flatter but now i've got to go back and look at the video one more time to check yep i look back that's exactly where they go our mystery over let's put the power battery bank back in and screws bad boy back together you can see we've got to put them where the arrows are one two three four Five, six, seven, he's in the middle there somewhere. Seven, eight, nine, so I have a nine or ten, I don't know. Yeah, there's ten in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten over here somewhere. Okay, tighten those up. Oh, and make certain you've put all your wires in. Is it that side? No, down here. These two here, and these two under here, so get those in. 
Okay, we've got all those 10 screws in there. We've got these two little plastic bits here. So now the lid's gonna go on, but you see, we've got to get that bit of uh, power lead into this bit here. So that means it's got to go that way around. And then it's all same screws apart from one silver one, which is proud. So let me get on with that. So my one goes that way with the red on the left. The dirty camera, the red on the left. And then we're ready to flip that on like so. Get yeah. oh wait a minute, I'm that screw down, have I? Interesting. Okay. Okay, that's why we double check. I hadn't put it on down. So that goes on like so. Uh how's this back go on? That's just gotta go around there, so maybe that needs to go on first. This like this. Yeah, look, that goes on first, and that's flat. Uh, a little bit of dirt on this. I'll give that a quick wipe. Okay, there was a silver screw in there for some reason. I don't know why. Put that in first, and then it's just black screws in every hole that will take it. And then we've got to put the. What do I want to go with? We've got to put the metal pot washer and the nut back on and then we uh, have to put the slider nut on this was which i was going to use because it's the same thing it's a sort of two-way switch times two it wouldn't have fitted i would have had to sit it externally but i'll just leave it on all the time because this isn't a professional repair this is a hack for when your old piece of kit is broken and for the want of an on-off switch you don't want to throw it away